killed JFK. I believe Jesse Ventura, one time they said, who did it? And he said, you know, Robert Smalls. It wasn't him, but he said a name. He just said, hey, all those old Jojo Beans. And I can't find that clip anymore. So, who killed JFK? Who killed JFK? Now, I, this is just some interesting information. Did you know we got 76 military bases in South America? We got 76 military bases in South America. How are we not an empire? Seven, 76 military bases? Most of our military bases are concentrated in Central America and the Caribbean. Not a shocker there, right? The Banana Republics and all the poor nations. In Panama... We got 12 military bases. America does. In Puerto Rico, we got 12 military bases. Why would we not accept Puerto Rico as an American state? We got 12 military bases there. And they're also, you know, Americans. They're nationals. They're... We also got nine military bases in Colombia and eight military bases in Peru. So all these military bases, and, you know, uh, according to Jesse Ventura, Jack K was going to get us out of Vietnam. And he was going to disband the CIA that destroyed into million pieces, which means that the CIA had the motive. Jesse Ventura believes that JFK, the assassination of JFK, JFK was a coup d'etat. It was a murder, and it was a cover-up. And people say, how can so many people keep silent? He points out the Manhattan Project. He said there was 100,000 people that worked on the Manhattan Project, and everybody kept silent. So Jesse Ventura, he points out that Khrushchev was coup d'etat, right? Jeff K. and Khrushchev, they had to get rid of them both. They were going to end the Cold War. They were going to end the Vietnam War. They were going to get rid of the CIA. And the CIA has had, you know, a pretty healthy 60 years. J. Edgar Hoover said that, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald did it the day after. There was more attention on the domestic than on the JFK assassination. Lee Harvey Oswald was negative with a paraffin test, so he didn't shoot nothing. You had Lee Cantor who pointed out that when you get shot, the way a bullet hole goes into a body, well, let's just say JFK, he had a bullet hole that went into his neck, and then it blows out the back. And he had got shot two times, right? One time he got shot like that. Or no, he got shot in the neck. He got shot in the neck. Whew. And then his top of his head just blew the fuck off. So that didn't come from the book depository, right? He goes back and to the left back, which means that the shot came from over there. And the one in his neck, the back of his skull is blown out. You have... Jackie Onassis reached for his skull. I guess to, you know, put it back onto his head. So JFK got shot in the neck, got the back of his skull blown off, half of his head blown off from a shot over there, shot in the front. How in the hell are we going to say that the book depository, Lee Harvey Oswald did it in the book depository? Clearly, there's another shooter. Clearly, there's a conspiracy. Clearly, and there's, you know, a coup d'etat. We just saw, you know, Trump supporters try to take over the Capitol. We got a coup d'etat. We're trying to push for one in Venezuela. We're pushing for, for a coup d'etat in Yemen. We got it. We're killing everybody in Yemen. A Yemeni genocide. So, who killed JFK? Who killed JFK? My own thoughts about the damn thing is... There's a ton of reasons for, a ton of people could have done it, and yet uh, we haven't got any closer to the damn truth. I believe Jesse Ventura, he's been reading, you know, he's been honest and telling us the truth for quite some time. So the name that Jesse Ventura, you know, had said in that one clip, probably on his, you know, conspiracy theory TV show. We've been, you know, the United States government, we coup d'etat people all over the world. Is it a shock that... The CIA, you know, who coup d'etats, everybody all over the world would coup d'etat our own government. We just saw Donald and the MAGA psychos almost do the, you know, overthrow the government. And that was out in the open. That was pretty brazen. 
So yeah, and then all those files haven't been redacted. So my thoughts on it is that Jesse's probably right. It's probably a coup d'etat. It's clearly a conspiracy. I don't know who killed Jeff K, but Jesse Ventura did say one time. So before he dies, somebody, can somebody, if anybody close to Jesse Ventura, just ask him who killed Jeff K. Can you you know say that guy's name again? And if anybody you know is watching this video and knows anything about it, that would be um. That would be helpful. Do you know, America, who killed JFK? How come you don't know who killed your own president 60 years later? You got all the information hidden in the government, but they don't want to give it to you. Who made you as dumb and ignorant about JFK as you are right now? Anyways, yeah, let me know. Peace.